Good morning, welcome to Anglesey where we're swapping the cap for carbon. That's right, it is the annual track day with supercar driver and supercar days. We've still brought down the Lexus LFA, the GT3 and the 812. However, today the 812 is staying off the asphalt because it's a little bit slippy. It's rear wheel drive with 800 horsepower and it's not my car. LFA, we're gonna take it on steady later on. There's no point in flying a car all the way over from Dubai to drive one of the UK's most iconic circuits we're now taking on the LFA. So we are taking it on, but today is all about the GT3. We've got fresh Michelin Cup 2s on there. The weather, despite the fact that I bring the bad luck with me, we've got a breeze, we're on the coast. It's gonna blow this mist away. The blue sky is gonna come out. We're gonna heat up the asphalt and we're gonna take you guys along for the very first drive at Anglesey in the new GT3. <laughs> Who else thinks Tony looks like a Wallace and Gromit character with that head on? Said, <laughs> with that helmet on? I said on my Instagram stories I look like a fat kid stuck in a lift. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Comedy right here. <laughs> right, let him check his pressures or else he'll end up in the sea. Literally, the, the ocean is the other side of that fence. <laughs> James, what are you doing? There's a truck out there. And there's... I, I know. I know. I know, but, but the video has to go out. Oftentimes people are like, how do you find the time between we make the time, or we, we cut track time short and make editing time long? This is the, the video going out. I'm gonna try, miraculously, we are literally on the edge of Anglesey, about to fall into the ocean, and they have almost 20 megabyte per second upload here, which is great news. But this is what happens, man. We cut the good time short so we can supply your eyeballs with this feast. This is the uh, first drive of the 812 Superfast in the UK through incredible Welsh countryside. So if you're watching this one and you haven't seen that one, link below. You'll notice to the Gen 2 GT3, you'll notice something new. Two things new. Harnesses. I've never had harnesses at GT3 before. And the other thing new is my friend Nick. Hello everyone, how are we? This is really cool because it's the first time that I've had this on Anglesey and I think the GT3 seems to be at home here. It's, it's, it's epic. It's made for the job, man. It's made for the job. That view is made. I know, mate. And the way that this car just squats out of the it's bend. It's incredible, huh? Early on the throttle. So early. What's fantastic about GT3s is all of the weight is still over the rear. So they love trail braking. They love all the weight on the nose. Which is how you get these front tires like hot quite quickly. Yeah. But as soon as you're at the apex. Squirt on. Mash it. Yeah. Absolutely mash it. Because it's got so much grip. This engine. Sensational. Nine. It loves it. between the brake and the throttle when you left butt is so, so much smoother. You can see how the bleed off just helps. So, so much better. That is the line. Yeah. <laughs> when it's empty. Oh, mate. What? Oh, what was that? What? That was so good. <laughs> 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 come together, oh. they come together so spectacularly, it is just the best. It's the best. It's a hell of a way to make you feel alive, man. Isn't it? A hell so of a way. So good. We're definitely going to get some fuel now. Uh, yeah. We're, we're, we're zero miles, it's oxygen, we're, we're running on fumes. To the petrol station. Off we go. <laughs> Helmet hair is becoming 
becoming a regular occurrence on this channel. If you see me wearing a hat, it's to hide the bunts. So, as you've seen, I think that was the culmination of why cars are so enjoyable. Did you see the giggle on our faces when that car let go and we were opposite lock? Like, as soon as you straightened it up and then shot past off the apex, we were both just like, ah! like screaming like girls. GT3 is holding up fantastically well. Pressure's doing cool. Uh, the Michelin experts are currently inspecting their, their product and so far, so good. Just before lunchtime, Oli Webb took out this Formula One car, which is the casually here for the track day. There's also a Vulcan. So as far as a pit garage goes for your, you know, average track day, the guys from Superguard Days and Superguard Driver, they don't mess around. When Adam said, we're bringing down some special kit, we're bringing down some special kit. Uh, GT3s seem to be the staple. Every track day I go to, I seem to keep seeing more GT3s. It's funny because on the one hand, just generally in the UK, they're quite rare until you get to a track day. But what's really nice about that is you get to see that the majority of people buying GT3s really do use them. I think, I think there's six here uh, and every one of them, they are on it every time the uh, track's open, queue of GT3s, everyone's out and loving it. And I don't blame them. This thing is addictive. When you get up to 9,000 revs and you slam home that gear, it's so good. Anyway, we got Audi R8 here, C63 AMG, original V8 R8. That was actually my first proper sports car. So I always smile and get a sort of warm feeling inside. Um, for th those of you guys that didn't know, the uh, deposit for my first house that I saved up ended up going on an Audi R8. I will by convention wouldn't recommend that but transpired that that car and that stupid maneuver transformed my entire life it immersed me in the car world myself and nick took my first r8 on a road trip where i ultimately ended up meeting the girl that became my wife so it changed my life entirely if you're saving up for a house don't do it i'm just giving you my backstory but unfortunately i've got to get the ferrari 812 super fast back home in time for ferrari to collect it which is a real shame however there is a tdf that we can share with you soon so stay tuned <laughs> This is... Begin to talk... It's right, it's proper. So both Nick and I have just, well, I've had the honor of driving it. I didn't film it because a track video with this car coming in the near future. Um, I'm shocked. I am bewildered at how... Judging by the, the look, look at his face. The front, <laughs> the front end is unbelievable. So planted. The turning. Yeah. And then coming out the corners with not to nine grand. Yeah. And in, then just pulling another one. Yeah. The downshifts are obscene. Amazing. Aren't I they? like the upshift. While for the slides. Yeah, yeah. The upshifts on track are bang on. Yeah. Because like, I find when you're on the road, it feels lethargic. Like at road mm. speeds, it's flat shifting. Mm. Amazing. And the thing is the brakes, mate. How much friction is that? You, you feel the bottom. Proper. Mate, it's really serious job. Really serious. I'm so, so impressed. I know, right? Get one, buy one, everyone, buy one. <laughs> LFA's for everyone. For everyone. <laughs> anyway, on that note, come outside here. Uh, we are now approaching the end of our day here at Anglesey. Massive thank you to Supercar Driver and Supercar Days. But before we end, there is that big yellow glowing orb behind the GT3. And quite rightly, some of you guys have been asking, now you've got the TDF, is the 812 still on order? Yes, it is. It's still a 2019 car. It's still on its way. Um, when I first started the sort of journey of specking the 812, I did say right there and then that the chances are we've got such a long lifespan until that car comes that I'm probably going to change my mind on all sorts of variables, you know, since the first day of seeing it. And as it happens, we've had lots of different spec options and ideas. I asked you guys who have been invaluable in coming up with crazy concoctions and color combos of things that I would have never dreamt of. However, Living with this yellow car for the last four days, I'm really warming to it. When I first saw it roll off the truck, I just thought that spec is incredible. I might be leaning towards, therefore, a more pearlescent, like a triple layer yellow paint, yellow on the 812. Let me know what you think below. And as always, go onto the Ferrari configurator online and configure away. If you have any more wacky ideas, send me the stuff, send me the links on Twitter, send me screenshots on Instagram. Be sure to tag me so I see it. 
as always, thanks for watching. I shall see you next time. Ciao.